Okay, um, so I want to talk about these story markers. They show up right here on your elevations, your sections, and your interior elevations. Um, and uh, there have been a few things that came up with these uh, recently. Uh, first of all, I want to point out that these are essentially controlled or primarily shown in your story settings. Uh, these check boxes right here, if I don't want to show the foundation story, for example, I can uncheck that box right there. Um, there's also, within the marker settings, you can define the style of what these automated markers are. Uh, so if we go uh, to our elevation settings, you can either select it through here, through the project map, uh, the view map, you can also get to the elevation settings, or you can pull it from, um, uh, from the actual marker itself in the floor plan view. Uh, and in here, there are uh, settings for story levels uh, right here. You could say uh, you want to use a different story marker if there's something in here, uh, a different marker that you've scripted or that you, you got from someone else or maybe a different version of ARCHICAD you wanted to pull from. Uh, you can load other markers. It is a library part managed by the libraries. Uh, you could set it to display an output, display only. That means it's an on-screen view option. It will not be part of the PDF set. Uh, even though it's visible in the viewpoint, or you can set it to none. You can say you want to show it right and left, just right, uh, offset, uh, all of those various things. Um, and then you have your story level styles. So you could set your, te your font, uh, text, type, uh, the kerning, all of that stuff. Oh, let's get back into there. Uh, is set under the story level styles. But then most importantly is the story level uh, symbol text. So in here, there's a whole bunch of different settings for what we're referencing, Project Zero. You can actually reference height above sea level, which is probably actually more useful for uh, most, uh, most architectural standards. Um, you can set uh, extensions and offsets. Um, you can, if we come back into here, this is one that came up uh, earlier this week, is that the story index number right here three roof, two second floor, one first floor. That's tying to, if we look here at your story settings again, that's tying to this number right here, the story index. Um, so uh, obviously story negative one, that's kind of a, a dumb pointless thing to show. So if you go to your settings and you don't want to see that uh, story index, uh, first of all, you can set it to be custom, but you can also set it to be blank. Um, the story name, that can be custom, but again, this is going to be project-wide, so you probably want to use the actual story names there. Uh, the elevation text, um, automatic, show the plus symbol or not. Uh, you know, it's that's again, it's another thing where um, unless you have the risk of uh, or the, the option to design in one of the few places in the world where you're below sea level, it doesn't really make sense to have that in there. So you can turn some of that stuff off. Uh, there's also options for how these things align, so right justified versus less left justified. So you have some options to fine tune these things and really get in and define the fills, the pens, the design of this, uh, this marker head. So I hope that that gives you a few ideas. You can see what happens there. That's centered up. I hope this gives you a few ideas on how you can use these automatic story levels and uh, maybe utilize them uh, in a little bit cleaner and tidier and more conventional way.